Hey guys, today's video is going to be very special. We're finally showing you our journey in transforming this studio unit into a cozy and creative home. This first episode, I will share with you my tips on how I get started in planning, designing a very small space, and how I was able to execute the makeover process despite the busy schedule. Let's backtrack a little. In 2014, we had this condo with my sister after years of renting apartments here in Cebu. Back then, we had a decent amount of furniture, just enough to accommodate our needs. Then, my sister left and started her own family. Now that I'm living alone, I realize that the space is depressing and just makes me feel lonely most of the time. So I decided to buy new furniture because I thought buying new things is always going to make the space look better. I find myself living alone again. When you're living alone, you tend to find something to work on to keep you busy. For me, I painted the cabinets, mirrors, kitchen cabinets, and the door. I also tried decorating. However, after living with the space for quite some time, I realized I'm not happy and I find myself sleeping in the sofa more than my bed. So I decided to start over and these are the things that I did. First, I created a list of the things that I need and don't need. Look around inside your home. Ask yourself, what are your do's and don'ts? For me, I do need a larger bed, a desk, and a sofa. I do not need a large dining table and furniture that take a lot of space. You can list this down in your notes on what you want to sell, keep, or buy. My second tip is to do some research. Whether on Pinterest, or look for some similar properties online and see how they lay out and style their space. For me, I was able to see the same unit as mine online. Next tip is to create a mood board. This is one way to define what your style is. When I did my research, I pinned a lot of inspo and created a separate board for this project. After years of living with these white walls, I'm really looking forward on having warm earthy tones with lots and lots of textures to make this space really feel cozy and inviting. In my mood board, I added the images from my Pinterest board with the things that I need, like a smaller dining table, bigger bed with just enough space to put my bags and luggages underneath, a desk, and a chest of drawers. And I would love to have a big rattan light that will make a statement. I'm also loving these wall art accents that I'm planning to incorporate in the media wall. I like to have my plants near the window. I can say that my style is definitely eclectic. There's a mix of bohemian, Scandinavian, and a little bit of mid-century modern for the furniture. For the fourth tip is to create a floor layout. I measured the space first. Then I drew the layout of my kitchen, bathroom, and balcony. After that, I'm just going to add my furniture. I'm planning to have a full-size double bed, and I place it in this corner because I want my bed to be away from the window. A desk near the window, the chest of drawers in front of the bed and the TV mounted on top. Then a dining table near the kitchen. I'd like to have a TV mount that can swivel so I can watch when I'm in the kitchen, dining, or living area. If ever I have guests over, this is going to be the layout. I can accommodate up to 5 people, either the 5th one can sit here or in the other side. Mostly I only have my parents or my sister and her family cam coming over. <laughs> One thing I made sure is to avoid any furniture that will block the light coming in from the window. So I placed the closet here. I'd like to keep the entryway clear and free of clutter, allowing the flow of energy to pass freely. 
we can achieve this through proper placement of furnitures, even in small spaces. I think this is the best layout for me. Not only have I created proper zoning of bed area, living area, and the dining area, this also gives me better flow and much more space to move around. You just have to be strategic with furniture selections and have a balance of every pieces you put into your space. So if you want to have larger dining area, you might want to downsize into a smaller sofa. Or if you want larger closet, you might consider downsizing the bed into a twin bed because in a small space, every square meter is essential. You just have to be really aware of what you need. My fifth tip is to know your budget. This is also very important because everything will depend on your budget. Be, re <laughs> be, re be, be realistic and assess if you are financially capable of having customized or built-in furnitures or are you fine with ready-made furnitures that you can just buy from the stores. For me, I was not willing to go through major construction of having built-ins except for the kitchen, which we'll talk more of it soon in the coming episodes. When budgeting, I'd like to open a spreadsheet, place my budget, and list all the big purchases. For the cost, I'd like to search online just to see the price range of each furniture. Then I just added the cost of the furniture that I might purchase. I'm really eyeing on this particular drawer. It's simple, the size is perfect, and it has 6 large drawers. But the price is just too much. But I saw this that has similar profile with 6 large drawers. I think this will work. We can just do some DIY later to make this piece aesthetically pleasing. For the others, I did not have any particular piece in mind yet, so I placed an estimate amount in my spreadsheet. It looks like I only have a few budget remaining for the decorations and other furnishings. I might want to reconsider some of the items here. So that's basically how I break down my budget. With this, I can clearly see which item will cost me more and see how I can find a solution that will allow me to have more budget in my decorations. My last tip is to just do it. After all the planning, designing, and budgeting, it's finally time to start the actual makeover. This is the most important step and the hardest. But you don't have to be scared. You just have to enjoy the process and do one thing at a time so you don't get overwhelmed. So the bed is already here and finally assembled. I got this uh, very sienna bed in white from Mandalay Foam. I chose this bed because it's white. It's simple and it fits some of my things underneath. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ayan, ang gulong. Ayan. 